Okay, so we're doing something a little different today. This video is entirely unscripted. Um, I'm not, I didn't write anything down for this one. This is just totally shooting from the hip. I don't know how well this is going to go over. Let me know if you like this sort of thing, if you want me to do more of it. Um, I wanted to do a bit of a story time video today, like the YouTubers of the past used to do. I remember that big thing that uh, lots of early YouTube trans girls used to do all the time. Well, I'm doing one of those, kicking it old school. I want to talk about standardized testing. So back when I was a little baby, um, the Ontario government, I live in Ontario, Canada, grew up here, lived here all my life. The Ontario government decided that they were going to revamp the school curriculum. And my year just happened to be the first year that got the new curriculum. Year before that, got the old curriculum, I got the new curriculum. And as part of that new curriculum, one of the things that they did was to introduce the Ontario Literacy Test. This was given in the 10th grade. If you're from the U.S., uh, I think you all call it the SATs, the like standardized testing. Does that stand for standardized aptitude test? I don't know. Anyway, it's a standardized test they give in the 10th grade to people to test their literacy. What else? It says so right in the name. Uh, because this was the first year that they delivered the literacy test, they didn't actually count it toward our grade. Um, now, I guess you have to pass it. If you don't, then you don't pass high school. But uh, for us, they gave us the test, but they didn't tell us. At least I didn't know um, that it wasn't it wasn't going to be counted toward our grade. So super cool. Awesome. Uh, all that stress for nothing. And when I took the test, I really did try. I did my damnedest. And when I got my grade back from the test, it told me that I could read at an okay level, but I was functionally illiterate from a writing perspective. Yeah, they declared me, the government declared me functionally illiterate in the 10th grade. This is the copy of my debut novel. Yeah, functionally illiterate girl wrote a novel. And this is, there's a whole lot of words in there. I wrote all of them. It is published through a traditional publisher. It's not like I'm not self-publishing. No shame to anybody who does. But take a look there. That's Vreda Literary. That's my publisher. And you can see my, my face on there too, just so you know it's not some other S.B. Edwards. That is me. Uh, I did write this book. I promise. And so if I had listened to whoever it was who wrote the literacy test, I tried to look it up. It turns out it was an entire committee. This book wouldn't exist. This YouTube channel wouldn't exist. My entire career wouldn't exist. Outside of this stuff, I make my living as a ghost blogger. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a blogger. I write, I write blog articles for uh, medical clinics and speech therapists, that kind of stuff. That's, that career wouldn't exist either. What would I be doing? I have no idea. My entire career is built around voice coaching and writing. So if I had listened to the government, those anonymous people who wrote the literacy test, who never met me before, who as far as I know, I've never met, who probably will never meet me, if I listened to them, my entire career wouldn't have existed. Why am I telling you this? I want you to take away from this idea that you should never let anybody tell you what you can and can't do. You're capable of so much more than you realize. And you might have people in your life who are telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that. That's, you know, that's for somebody else. That's not for you. You're not going to be good at that. You don't have the general aptitude for that. Look at your grades. That's not the career path you should pursue. You should try something else because that's just not going to work for you. If I had listened to that, I wouldn't have my entire career. And overall, broadly speaking, all things considered, my life is not so bad. Yes, we live where we live. Yes, we live when we live. Yes, there's a lot of things that are bad. But in my little corner of the world here, it's not so bad. And how did I carve that out? Through writing. A career that somebody told me I shouldn't do. If you want to do something and somebody is telling you that you can't do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not good at doing it, consent aside, of course, obviously, 
just do it anyway and see what happens. Maybe you'll be better at it than you think you are. Anyway, that's all.